So I came down and I just noticed that my parahibana, you can see she's actually kicking hairs. No idea why. Look at that. You can see her already kicking hairs like coming down as she kicks them. That is pretty interesting. And I have not opened this cage. So she is definitely not kicking hairs in a defensive way. That's very interesting. The thing is, she, she never wanted to eat, so I'm guessing she's in primo. And I think she is making a, a wet mat for her to lay down and molt, which is pretty cool. I never knew that they kick hairs to do that. I always thought they just make a mat and just lie down. But yo, look at that. She's actually kicking hairs. That's actually really interesting. Wow. Did you guys even know this? Maybe it's a normal behavior. It's just, I'm just guessing that I just didn't know it. But yeah. Very interesting. Look at that. You can actually see it in detail. Oh, she's kicking off the hairs. Wow. Look at that. It's amazing. And now it's like about 1 a.m. in the morning. And yeah. She actually may flip over for us. I don't know. Is she going to do that? If she does, that'll be sick. Because I've never seen a tarantula flip over to molt before. I've seen them flip back over after a molt. But to flip over? Man, I've not seen that before. Curious though, is she going to do that? I'm not exactly sure. Should we wait here? It's gonna take a while, I think. But yeah, she, she stopped kicking hairs. Maybe she realized that we are filming because I'm using flash and uh, it's dark. So yeah, I mean, she, she faced us and then she stopped kicking. So I'm guessing she senses that we are here. So yeah, um, if we were to wait for her to to flip over if she's even going to do that it's probably gonna take a while so yeah I'm not sure if I'll just wait here or anything but I'm pretty sure she's going to, to molt because it's not very often that she lays a wet mat like this and she's not been eating for a few weeks already so I'm pretty sure she's about to molt so very interesting curious are you going to flip now? If she flips... Oh no, she's still kicking hairs. If she flips... Man, this will be the first time I have ever witnessed something like that. But yeah, this, this Lacidora Parahibana is 7 inches in leg span. So, oh, she's actually still kicking hairs. She's a very, very big girl. Very, very majestic. She's still laying a wet mat though. So... Ooh, what are you doing, girl? I guess now, after we shine the light for a while, she realizes that we're not a threat, so she continues to kick her hairs. <laughs> pretty interesting. Like, what? That's pretty cool, man. Did you guys know about this? Like, you can you can literally see all her hairs on the ground. Like, you see those, those patches? Yeah, that is insane. What? What is she even doing this for? Maybe she is like trying to clear her butt, her abdomen, so that she can molt. I don't know. But as you see over here, she's really late, like a, a wet, like a like a thing for her to flip over, I think. Yeah, is she gonna do that? I have no idea. Not a single clue. But yeah, if she does, that would be super sick, man. But she's still kicking hairs. No idea why. Comment down below, guys. Why do you think she is kicking her hairs? Hmm. 
but I think she is about to molt. I can almost guarantee it. Because, yeah, I think she is going to molt over here because she laid this, this uh, little slope over here. But I'm not sure. Not exactly sure if she is going to flip. But if she is, that will be so awesome. It will be on camera, but... Uh, I don't think she's going to do it now, though, because she keeps rubbing off her fur, her urticating hairs. But it's a, it's still, even if she doesn't flip over for us, it's still a very rare. And I don't know if it's rare, but for me, because I've not witnessed something like this before, a situation. So that is awesome. Look at that. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just talking to you guys at like 1 a.m. in the morning, standing over here, like, standing over here, holding my phone up at this tarantula, and when I upload this video, I'm probably not even going to edit it, I'm, I'm probably not even going to cut this video, it's going to be pure raw footage, but come on girl, can you please, I mean, if, if you guys do see a cut in this video after this, it's probably because I stopped the video and resumed, but... I'm not going to be cutting it as in putting it into iMovie, which yes, that is the uh, editing software that I use, because a lot of people ask me. Uh, I'm not going to put it in there to cut clips, because, yeah, it's going to be one take for every clip. So yeah, Ugh, she doesn't look like she's going to be flipping right now, so maybe we'll wait. I don't know. Should we wait? <laughs> But the thing is, I'm, I'm afraid that if I go away and I come back, she would have already flipped. I want to witness her flipping, like, in real life. So, I have no idea, man. I have no idea. She's definitely going to flip, because look at the, the wet mat that she's did. She's done. Yeah. This is the kind of wet mat that it is used for molting. It's not the normal wet mat. So, very interesting. And come on, girl. Just flip already. <laughs> and also, the, uh, beside her is the other smaller Lassidora Parahibana. I fed it earlier this day. Yesterday, actually, since now it's like 1 a.m. Yeah, we fed it earlier today. And, I mean, early yesterday. <laughs> and it's still eating. This girl, come on. Let's flip on camera, man. So, yeah, I pretty much fed off the tarantulas uh, last, like, yesterday. No, I keep wanting to say earlier today, but no, it's already the next day. So, yeah, just wanted to... Oh, this one didn't eat my blue fang tarantula. It's like coming out over here, but then the, the freaking roach is still there. Hmm. Ooh, skeleton tarantula. Yeah, this one is currently still eating. So, that is a good thing. Hmm, who else? No one's here. And over here, we have the other uh, skeleton tarantula, emerald skeleton. Never ate her roach. Come on, man. Hmm. Come on, girl. Flip already. What are you doing? What are you waiting for? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to stack stuff up so I can put my phone on a tripod and try to witness her flipping over because I'm pretty sure she's going to do that anytime. And I'm not going to stand here and just look at her like this. It's just going to make my, my legs pain. So, yeah, I'll, I'll try to be able to stack something up over here so I can put my tripod and my phone there. All right, so here's what I've got. I've got the stool over there. Wait, yeah, the stool over there. Container, container, my dustbin. And I'll put my tripod up there because that is the enclosure. Tripod up here and like shine down for you guys. Okay, I think that's a good position. Yep, just zoom it in a little bit and yeah, I think that'll be good. Just hope that my battery does not run out, my phone battery, because if it does, then uh, that would be a waste. If she, f if she decides to like flip when my phone battery dies, <laughs> that would suck so bad, but yeah. Just gonna leave my phone over here for you guys to see and I'm gonna go upstairs
god, she actually flipped. Oh, oh my gosh, yes. And I got it on film. <laughs> I knew it, you guys. I freaking knew it that she was going to flip. Oh my god. Gosh, yes, what is that that water droplet on her leg? I hope that's not injury, but oh, freaking yes. <laughs> so why I don't know, comment down below guys. Why do you think she took out her hairs before she flipped over? I've no idea, because do all tarantulas actually do that before they flip? Oh, that is awesome, man. That is freaking awesome. Yes. <laughs> So yeah, um, now it's like about yeah around one thirty I think I am gonna have to cut this particular clip because I put it on the tripod and I went upstairs and just chilled and then I came back down to check and she flipped, hell freaking yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, we will come back tomorrow and she should be done molting by then. So yeah, good night guys. See you tomorrow. Okay, it's daytime now. Let's check on the tarantula. Okay, so... Ah, she has finally molted. Check that out. That is awesome, you guys. So, yeah, I'm sorry if you can hear Xena in the background, but I have done quite a few molting videos in the past, but never have I had a chance to see the tarantula flip on its side. I have seen it flip over, like after they molt, they flip over right side up. I'll link that video in the description below. But yeah, having it to flip like upside down, I've never seen that. And this video right here is the first time I have witnessed this and I am so happy. It's like when that Nandu Chromatus molted and then it flipped back up. I was really hoping I will catch one flipping up to molt. Flipping, yeah, is it up or down? Yeah, flipping up yeah, to molt. This right here, we have got it on camera, which is freaking awesome. So. My molting adventure is complete. I've witnessed them flipping upside down. I also have time-lapse video on that. I will link it down in the description below. And I have witnessed them flipping back to their normal position. Super happy about that.